Central to the poem is the idea that the hatred or resentment that some people feel against another may outlive the origin of that emotion, and now they simply hate for hate's sake, because it's in their nature. The source of that hate is not specified in the poem, which remains sufficiently generalised to be applicable to many situations. It could be the resentment is jealousy of someone's success, or that the hater feels offended by something that the other person has said or done, or it may just be an irrational hatred. The poet admits the truth of it cannot always be known. What have you done to them? Nothing. And he also understands there's no point trying to make peace with these people, even if he has convinced himself that some of the fault is his. His admonition is not to cave in, but to fight against them with courage, and every unchivalrous dodge, presumably since they have been unchivalrous to him. He has, as the first stanza says, come through a period of storm, during which it is assumed the haters had the upper hand, even prophesying his downfall. Now that he is back in the mild, clear weather, and his reputation somewhat restored, he is in no mood to let the haters dominate him. The you in the poem is both the poet himself and you, the reader. We overhear him talking to himself, and recognise the situation can also refer to us. It's very likely Auden's personal situation gave rise to this piece. In 1939, at the beginning of the Second World War, he emigrated to America and became an American citizen, distancing himself from his earlier left-wing beliefs. This stirred up a great deal of animosity among British writers and intellectuals, which lasted decades after the war ended. From 1956 to 1961, he was Professor of Poetry at Oxford. He was not always made welcome, and this poem appeared in a collection from 1957. Auden avoids any direct reference to his personal life in the poem, and more importantly, makes the cause of the hatred unknown, whereas in his own case, he knew very well why people disliked him.